Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about installing and updating your printer drivers on your Windows 11 computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers as well. But let's say you have any common printer, so like Xerox, Canon, Epson, Brother, HP, for example, and you're trying to update or install your printer drivers. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully do that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So generally, I would recommend going on to the manufacturer's website. Just type in your printer make and model into Google, and then there should be a utility right on the manufacturer's webpage that will automatically download and install all of it for you. So there would be a link on that page. You could just install the full package, which I would recommend doing, which would normally include drivers as well. So that's usually the first thing I'd recommend doing. Even if you had a CD that came with your printer, it, more likely than not, the drivers are already out of date. But if you're looking just to set up your printer initially, that might not be a bad idea to try that right off the bat. If it came with a CD, just pop it into your computer and then let it install that way. I know a lot of you guys probably don't have optical drives anymore on your modern computers. I still you know, feel the need to have one on my main computers. But regardless, if you want to do this another way, and that just be going through the traditional adder printer features in Windows, we can try that as well. And that's what I'm going to kind of show in this today's tutorial, as well as going online, just showing you guys how to look for updated drivers, just for an example. So that'll be the second part of this tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing, if we're just trying to add a local printer, let's just say through Windows here, something you can try would be to open up the search menu, type in Control Panel. Best result should come back with Control Panel here. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to category view. And you want to select hardware and sound. Underneath devices and printers, go ahead and select add a device. And you want to make sure your printer is turned on and connected to your Wi-Fi or plugged into your computer, depending on whether you're doing a hard connection or you're just using a wireless-based connection here. You know, what I was saying about CDs earlier, a lot of printers don't even you know, come with that much you know, material in terms of CDs or instruction manuals nowadays. I notice that with a lot of things that... You know, the manuals, they make you want to go online in order to learn more about the product. You open up a product and there's barely anything in the box anymore. So um, anyway, choose a device or printer to add to this PC. Nothing was found because I don't have anything hooked up. But if you did, if you had it hooked up to your Wi-Fi network, it more likely than not would show up in this list and you can go through installing it at this point. You could also, if you close out of here, and then you went underneath Advanced Printer Setup instead. So instead of selecting Add a Device, you select Advanced Printer Setup. You have the option to select the printer I want isn't listed. And then you can go ahead and sort by other options here, such as looking for a shared printer, adding a printer using an IP address, Bluetooth printer, or adding a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Then you would select Next. Usually you don't have to change your printer port here. You would select next again. And then if you have your printer drivers on your computer, you would just select the manufacturer and the printer. And then you would select next and install it. So that's something you guys can do. The second part of the video I wanted to show you guys if you just wanted to go online, just for an example here, in, like what I was saying earlier in the video and just going and downloading it directly from the manufacturer site, usually they have these fully packaged utilities and you get the most up-to-date drivers doing it that way as well. So if we were to launch a web browser here, I'm just going to open up Google Chrome. You're welcome to use any other web browser you want, but let's just say it's a Canon printer here. So I'm just going to search for a Canon printer. Hit enter. And then let's just say we're going to add drivers to the end. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So drivers and downloads, we're going to go ahead and open that up. Can is just a placeholder basically for any other printer. So Brother, Epson, HP, etc. So we can go underneath printers here. And you can just type in your product up at the top. But we're going to go ahead and search for a specific printer here. And then on this page, it takes you right to drivers and downloads. And you want to get the full driver and software package. You'd select the select button and then select download. And it's as simple as just following the on-screen prompts at that point. So pretty straightforward process, guys, I would like to thank for just about everybody. And again, just follow along with the on-screen prompts. You go ahead and set up your printer. Really doesn't require too much user input. So like I said, pretty straightforward. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.